My name is Muhammad Yusuf Chaudhary. I was here since 1962, okay, when I first arrived here, because there was the opportunity of jobs after I left the school, after I left the school, and a uh, few of our friends, we, told, we, we, we decided to leave the country and we go somewhere else. And the opportunity it was because of the Commonwealth countries, the people from there, they were invited by the British government to come. If anybody want to come, you have no problem getting the visa and coming here, right? So three of us, we arrived and two of them, they stayed in London. And I happened with my relative in this part of the country. So I came here. So the life was very hard. I didn't know whether I stay or whether I go back. So I decided to stay and fight with this. My parents was not very happy for me to come. Looking for a job, it was very hard those days. The wages only used to be about six pound fifty, seven pound a week wages. And we used to live in that money and used to send at least one or two pound to our mother to help them. And the job, first job I started, it was a company called Ryland Brothers in Warrington. And uh, it was a hard job. They used to manufacture steel wires and then they galvanized them. And uh, there I met two Pakistanis as well, same time, one was Mr. Dildar and the other was Mr. Amjad. So they used to live in Liverpool and I found a place in Warrington. The rent was one pound per week and landlady used to pay everything else, you know. And then we used to buy our own food and cook in and eat it. And then uh, first 12 months was very, very hard and then we thought this is not going to last long. There was an the opportunity for me to work on weekend to get extra money. And then uh, there was no there was no life, no television in those days, and uh, you just work and sleep and work and sleep. That was our aim. You know. Sometimes we used to hear that don't go out now, don't go out night time. These boys called teddy boys, they go out night time for pocky washing. And I said, what is bloody pocky washing? <laughs> and he said, they, 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 they beat you up, you know. So then when we used to go out, we used to go out just two or four, three of us together. And that was our <clears throat> start of our life. So the gentleman named Dildar, he used to live in uh, Liverpool. He invited me one day to come to live in Liverpool and we spent a day here, right? And we thought, okay, we'll come one day. And I liked part of Liverpool because it was a seaside. So steadily, steadily, I started making my mind up to and work in Liverpool, but in the meantime, I had a job to work on a jewelry shop part time and I started working there to make some money. So hopefully it was a tragedy with the lady she used to run that shop and uh, her husband had an accident and she has to close the shop and she offered me to buy it and pay the money later on. So I did that. So after the Christmas, the business went down because nobody buy the gifts. And then I have to ask the, the supervisor of the market, can I change the tender to the uh, clothing, you know? So I did, uh, they've been kind to me, they helped me, and they gave me three months rent free as well. So that's where I started going into the other business. Uh, thanks to the people of Liverpool 
they are great people and i am telling you they are very friendly uh, i have been here now almost 50 over 50 years that i have never had problem with anybody who is local Thank you.